Hello. Uh, last year I was made into a physician. This year I'm a nurse. I, I'm actually a respiratory therapist and those aren't my credentials. <laughs> it's okay. Hello, my name is Thomas Knowles. I'm the manager for respiratory therapy and the Center for Advanced Sleep Medicine at University Hospitals Geneva Medical Center. I'm honored to be here with you today uh, at the 2018 World Patient Safety Science and Technology Summit to present you with University Hospitals Commitment. University Hospitals is a leading health, in, health system in the United States committed to saving lives and impacting the long-term health of the population we serve in a positive manner. The health system includes several freestanding hospitals and health centers across the state of Ohio and together we strive to provide exceptional quality with our number one priority being to ensure safety of our patients. University Hospitals Geneva Medical Center is one of those hospitals, a small but mighty 25 bed critical access hospital focused on providing essential surgical and comprehensive treatment for the patients in our rural community. I was on the stage last year at Dana Point, California, and it really feels like this is the, is this the same stage? No, no, it looks just like it, sorry. At Dana Point, California, announcing our initial patient, it's a mobile one, our initial patient safety commitment, which was focused on detecting signs of early cl clinical deterioration and prevention of failure to rescue scenarios. Continuous monitoring proved to be effective in early identification of clinical de deterioration. In addition, remote notification of patients' worsening condition was demonstrated to be crucial in the timely intervention of staff and members thus preventing failure to rescue due to opioid-induced respiratory depression. However, we were pleased and, and pleasantly surprised to find that care coordination and population health were enhanced due to detection, of, detection and referral of previously undiagnosed obstructive sleep apnea. And we were able to send those patients for further evaluation in the sleep center. This year, we are committing to upgrade this system to include full vital signs capability it is our hope that the addition of temperature and non-invasive blood pressure and hemoglobin parameters will help us to identify patients at risk for complications such as sepsis or get and gastrointestinal hemorrhage. As part of our ongoing strategy to facilitate hosp a hospital culture of zero harm. Since our initial commitment was made back in 2016, I am very excited to announce that University Hospital Geneva Medical Center has saved a total of 61 lives through our work to improve patient safety. Thank you for the opportunity to share this commitment with you today.